that's recording. Hey everyone, this is Red Riding Bikes. And my video for today is about my Trek Farley 7 2017. And I got it off of Cycling Avenue. And the reason, there's a couple of things I'm gonna show you today. So if you're interested in seeing part one, two, three, and four, and however many, please subscribe. Join me if you were a newbie into the biking world, just like me, join me. So we will discover this great sport. So like and subscribe, please. I will have many more videos for you, including a ride video of the Trek Farley. Once I get it assembled, I'm gonna ride it out a video of that but for today's video I'm gonna to talk to you about a couple of things first is why I bought a bike off of cycling Avenue and not on pink bike KGG or Facebook this is a fat bike uh, the reason um, and also I'm gonna show you uh, the unboxing of this bike and hopefully if it's easy enough I'm gonna show you uh, how to put it together or how I will put it together so but first before I start so the reason why I uh, bought the bike from Cycling Avenue is I had a North Rock XCF that fat bike from Costco that's my first one I loved it but I wanted to upgrade so I got a Rocky Mountain uh, minus 50 those are the ones with shock absorbers in front and I got a specialized fat boy and I have other bikes but I like fat bikes but the thing is I sold my two bikes so I'm out of a fat bike I was looking at buying a Canyon dude or the RSD mayor but as I was like searching through there's uh, some concerns because I heard that there's going to be no bikes available or it's hard to find bikes and I don't want to be out of the bike, out of a bike. So I said, I need to get a fat bike. So I saw this Farley 7 2017 and I thought to myself that if I should buy it, weigh it or um, buy from Pink Bike, but it ended up being the decision being that this fat bike According to the specs, it's only 27 pounds. The Canyon Dude on their website is 30 pounds and that's carbon. This one is aluminum. So I'm thinking for that price, for the price difference, um, it's a no-brainer. I'll get the Farley. They have good reviews. So one thing also that's good with Cycling Avenue is you have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So they say, if you don't like the bike, you can return it. And it's a certified uh, uh, bike as well if you're buying on Facebook a pink bike and KGG especially if it's a carbon bike you will have no guarantee you're basically gambling or risking with pink bike well sorry with cycling Avenue they have a guarantee so and I bought this on Tuesday I got it on Friday three days so also on pink bike I was gonna buy one bike uh, it's a Norco Ithaqua um, it was priced very well it's coming from Vancouver uh, problem is it will I would have paid $800 for shipping and taxes to get that bike over here with cycling Avenue that's $99 although I pay GST which is okay because at least you got the gar guarantee you have the uh, money back guarantee and all of that so you have more peace of mind so that's why I decided anyway too much talking is that three minutes already but I hope I hope I shared information to you on what influenced my decision in going buying this bike so let us open it we're gonna see this together for the first time so let's see two boxes came one and two I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with the big one I think that's those are the wheels if I can guess right, these are the wheels, but who knows? Let's see. Okay. It's not 
so hard to open. Be careful with this, don't hurt yourself. Oh, wrong guess. This is the body frame. Okay. Anyway, that's how it looks like. It's clean. The bike is clean. Hope I can zoom into that. See, that's the, that's the bottom part of the bike, the frame. This is very clean. It looks like new the chain looks like new so there's the bike um, hmm. okay, one second. what's in here what's in here is nothing just spacer just so it's like the avenue, and I'm not affiliated or anything like that. I just saw, I think I saw it on Facebook. Oh, no, no, no. So what happened is I Google uh, every day uh, from the last time I sold my fat bike. Every day I go on Google, Facebook, Kijiji, big bike to look for fat bikes. So last Tuesday night, I was Googling. I saw it on Google. The 47 2017, which is this one. I went to the site, so that's how I find, found the uh, cycling avenue. Okay, so let us spin. Oh, wow, dudes, this is so light. Oh my gosh, this is so light. So, what I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna, how can I take this out? Okay, so oh, do my friends, my friends, with the fork, this is so light, uh, I can do the one hand thing, ha. but with the saddle, tires, everything, obviously this will get heavier. Oh, that's the that's, that's seat already. Okay, so a few things on this one that I will show you. See how clean it is. See how clean that is. Okay. See the chain and the chain ring. One thing though that I observe with you're buying a uh, used bike or old bike is this thing on the under the seat. They get rusty. The stump jumper that I got, which I love the stump jumper, um, it had that too. Because they're, they're, I guess they're not aluminum. But this looks really fresh. Even the pedals or the cranks, not too much. No pedal strikes looks like it. Uh, and this one has this sliding thing here. Oh, it has this sliding thing here and it has this sliding thing there. Pretty cool. This is aluminum. That's the Bontrager Elite um, handlebar. XT Dior. Right. Okay, I'll put this down right here. because black is um, easy to pair things. What else is in here? Oh, okay, that's the dual box. Um, what is that? Okay, let's put that there. That might be for something. Those look like just spacer. But this is the box that they are talking about. I, I'm also gonna um, uh, I'm also gonna weigh this bike after. 
because the website said 27 pounds so i want to confirm that if they're putting on putting the right information on the website um so like and subscribe because i'm gonna have a separate video about the weight because i have to sample this oh says merci um i think cycling avenue is in quebec that's why it's french merci merci beaucoup oh yeah that's right pedals and shrink wrap and they look new they are new omg although i might probably be replacing this but this is awesome because i can give this to somebody that needs it not so heavy and they give you a tool they give you a tool a multi-tool cycling avenue see if i'll use this cycling avenue baby okay so obviously these are the wheels and the tires Let's see. Whoop, whoop. Fast fight, baby. They are not inflated. They're soft. They're soft. Which is a bit heavy. Good thing with this one is this is tubeless ready. I'm gonna make this tubeless and hopefully I can make this by 25 pounds. Look at the thread. Still good. Wheels look good. Look at the, the cassette. So fresh. So for 2300, this is an awesome bike. You know, obviously you pay taxes, so it costs more than 2300 oh sorry no this was 2600 so uh plus tax and shipping it's about 3100 i paid but i think this is good quality and hopefully i will like it so i won't return it but if i need to return it i have 30 days and then the other one right Okay, so I'm gonna cut this video and I'm gonna switch it to time lapse so that you you can see me building it, but don't wait three hours. Okay, see you back. okay folks this is it i put 10 psi still summer so i'm gonna write this in the summer that's why i got it but let's turn it over whoops whoa what's happening there uh oh uh oh this is not very tight I need to tighten this but anyway that is the bike i love it it looks it looks mean all black black is a new orange need to tighten that fork okay a couple things uh to tell you when you're assembling so i was confused a little bit maybe you saw it because this was turned over this way so i'm trying to turn the fork and the lines are not, they look weird. I have to go to the website, find out what the Farley 7 looks like. And I figured what they did was like turn this this way. I guess they do that so they save that space. Uh, that's one thing. 
Overall, this bike is great when it came. It looks mint, except for these screws here, which are kind of rusty, and the ones that are underneath the seat. Um, oh, when you're putting away those boxes, be careful, because the staples are still there and you're gonna hurt yourself. Just like me. Don't be stupid, like me. Um, through axle, awesome. Uh, the the wheels are true, the brakes are true, and yeah, just can't wait to get it to take this out. So I'll be doing lots of videos um, about this bike. Like I said, at 30 days, if I don't like it, I can return it. But I think I will like it. So we'll see. But thanks for being here. Like I said, like and subscribe. If you're new like me, let's explore this sport together. My next video will be kind of like a review uh, of this bike. But in the meantime, I'm going to film a walk around of this video outside. Take a look. Safe riding hood. This is Red Riding Bikes. Signing out.